Hi guys, uh, good morning and welcome back. Uh, today we will try to understand uh, the market and uh, we will try to go dig down, dig down into the market and we will try to see what is happening in the market and we will try to see what are the news uh, specific stocks will be uh, in focus today. Before going to that, let me give a disclaimer that the content we are discussing is only for education purpose. It is not a buy or sell recommendation guys. Yesterday, if you look at the Nifty 50 market, it was all about a mute kind of response. It is nothing, it was not moved even positive also. It was not moved even too much negative also, guys. Some of the sectors have seen uh, profit booking, some of the sectors have performed uh, hugely well and they were skyrocket kind of thing. And a few of the sectors, uh, like you know, FMCG sector and uh, railway sectors were skyrocket of the shipbuilding companies have started profit booking as well. If you look at the sectoral indices also, almost majority of the sectors were uh, in red. Almost kind of a flattish or half percent uh, down kind of a performance was there. If you look at uh, technical sides, if you look at the market, uh, from uh, 24th June, it opened the gap up and it entered into this range. Basically, it has broken the 24,200 level range. So then it has uh, reached into this 24,200 to 24,400 range. So as of now it is trading in this range bound. So it has to break out or either way it has to break uh, out or it has to break down from this channel. So in order to see the further up move uh, to reach if it is break uh, if it is break out of this 24,400 level. So then the immediately resistance will be like you know, 24,500 will be the immediate resistance. If it breaks down uh, from this level, then the immediate support will be 24,200. So this, uh, this itself also support. So then if it does not uh, seems to be a support, good support, so then the immediate psychological support will be 24,000. So this will be the technical size. As of now, it is consolidating in this range bound, we would say or it is a kind of a flat move in this kind of range bound. Uh, we will see this. there are uh, chances where it can break out from this level. Actually for the nifty this kind of an up move there were uh, reasons uh, whether HDFC bank, heavyweight stocks like HDFC banks and Reliance uh, Industries and uh, IT sector all these three sectors were uh, like you know uh, either one of the sectors from these three uh, uh, stocks were like you know performing and uh, it was pulling the nifty to the highest level so that is uh, what the main reason behind this nifty kind of a insane rally so it is okay for now and it is consolidating in this level we will see how it is going to perform even if you look at the nasdaq performance uh, yesterday it has closed almost 0.28 percent up and uh, if you look at the dow jones also it is almost 0.079% down, 31 points down, almost kind of a, uh, if you look at, uh, it was trading in the same uh, plot, it was moving kind of a, in circuits, uh, sideways, it was moving. So as of now, that is the performance, and even if you look at uh, the uh, area, I mean, uh, gift nifty, as of now, it seems to be, uh, okay. so it seems to be a trading kind of a plot. So our market also can move, uh, I mean start uh, flat. So based on that, uh, the bulls are based, uh, take over the call and uh, may take to the next level. Right? If you look at uh, the FAS and EAS activity, so yesterday they bought uh, 60, uh, and 60 crores of uh, in the cash market, whereas uh, DAS have uh, bought again uh, 2,800 crores value in the cash market. So that is what FIS and DAS activities now. Quickly, like you know, let us come back and discuss the stack radar for today. So stack digital wagons will be in stack uh, in stack radar for today because of uh, mobility solution provided provider said fundraising committee has approved the launch of qualified institutional placement, setting the floor price of 689 uh, per equity share. So actually, like you know, Jupiter wagon is going to uh, raise the funds uh, through QIP quali qualified institutional placement so that is uh, got like you know uh, approved uh, the mobility solution provider has approved for this fundraising uh, uh, 
uh, thing for uh, 689 for equity share. So then Utkarsh Small Finance Bank will be in focus. Microfinance lenders said that it has received, received a approval from the RBI for the reappointment of Govind Singh as a managing director and chief executive officer. This will also be in focus. Then comes Godrej Consumers Products. This FMCG said it reported a mixed performance across uh, its global operations despite challenging operation condition in India. The company domestic business showed a resilience achieved achieving high single digit organic volume growth and mid single digit volume growth. So basically it's a uh, quarterly update. So it is it is uh, saying like you know the overall volume and uh, volume growth will be in single uh, digit and organic uh, this mid single digit volume growth. That is the thing. So we will see that how it goes. Then Cowboy then comes uh, it's a jewelry working in jewelry segment. So this jewelry retail major said the company has achieved a retail sales growth of 11% and same store store sales growth of 4% in quarter 1 of the 525. So this will also be in focus. Keep a close eye on this. So then comes uh, Kantor. The state-owned company reported update for the first quarter of the financial year 2023 with the total volume rising by 6% year on year to 11.59 lakh 20 foot equivalent units compared with 10.93 lakhs uh, TEU years in the same period last year. So then comes MGL, the state owned company announced a price increase for CNG and domestic PNG to partially offset the raising cost of gas. Effective from the midnight of July 8 or morning of uh, July 9, the delivered price of CNG will be raised by 1.50 per kilogram and the domestic PNG will be 1 per standard cubic meter in the in and around the Mumbai. So these stats will be in focus today. So keep a close eye on all these things and keep close eye on railway stocks as well and keep close eye on the uh, PSU stocks basically because uh, as there is a pre-budget there could be any decisive move can happen in the uh, PSU sector especially in the PSU sector. Uh, there can be a decisive move uh, uh, further up move or a down move uh, as there will be a pre-budget. So keep a close eye on all these things. We will see and we will try to analyze in the evening session as well. So what is what what whatever the stocks we discuss, right? So that will be uh, we will analyze one more time in the evening session. Uh, that's all uh, for the pre-market analysis, guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much.